Same property. This guy used to race cars back in the day. This is pretty neat. Ford GT. Interior's not bad. I take it back. There's just seats. <laughs> this one actually sold. The guys are over there right now looking at another car we might get a touch. I don't think I'm going to buy that one. But there is a uh, Triumph TR7. It's been there for 40 years and it's a four speed. So that's pretty cool. We might mess with that later. It is completely fall, 40 degrees, raining and snowing. I'm here with my buddy Jaden, and we're gonna pull this Triumph out from its grave, take it down to Ames, and work on it. And we got a little surprise for you at the end. Let's get some shovels and some ropes and get to it. By the way, this is still registered for the road. Oh, story time. Okay, so this guy used to be a stock car racer. He had a bunch of engines, a bunch of stuff out here on the farm. He's getting old, started putting stuff away. This car wound up here. It was the band director of Iowa State's car. That was a surprise, I ruined it. And it wound up here because he was married or dating someone in this local area so that this guy could fix it. He fixed it, the guy never picked it up. It got put right here and got covered in stuff over the years. And they actually lost the car. They're like, we forget it exists. Someone started cleaning up the property and uncovered this car sitting here. They didn't know this was here for 20 years. It's right here, and they lost it. It was crazy. So this thing has been here forever. This whole thing is so weird. I'm getting flashbacks with a Fiat right now. <laughs> Except for there's no possum. About the same. How do you think it, we popped the trunk? Uh, oh. There's been a possum. It could still be a possum. <laughs> Can we find any papers? I don't know if that door opens. You got it? I got it. I'm looking for receipts, anything on a, a recent date. Ah, here Whoa. we go. Here we go. This folder contains your muffler warranty. <laughs> <laughs> 1983. We got it for a map over there. Northfield Township. What the heck is that? Don't know. It doesn't say a state or anything. So what is like... Oh, by Chicago. So Illinois. Yep. It was an Illinois car. Not the title. The owner was... Who is the band director at currently? Iowa State. Yeah, I don't know if he currently is. He might... Maybe. Yeah. He's been paying $17 a year or more or less for 30 years for a car he has not seen. Oh, dude! Nice. This thing is definitely parked in the 80s. There's no question now. These are disgusting, but I'm going to do it for the do it for the internet. You have to give the internet what it wants. <laughs> They're dark. <laughs> Very dark. I actually pull those off. They sat like way out here on my face. Yeah. What is the chance? I'm gonna maybe wear this later, but I can't see. First start in 30 years, lighter. This one, this thing works. I'm scared to open this bag. Oh no, you gotta open this bag. Put the safety glasses on. <laughs> it's just some. I think it's. It's gonna be a whole possum. This comes flying out. Nice! That's actually... I wow. wish it wasn't broken. Top top can. Because that is like a really nice can. Can you blow it up, maybe? N no, I'm not just, just putting my mouth, mouth on that. Come on. Lick it. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Lick it. I got something for you there. Oh, sweet. A perfect one, almost. That... Mint condition. That was never opened. Wait, what? Oh, it froze. It froze and broke open. Wow. Is there anything else in the bag? <laughs> no, it's not. It's empty. There is a skeleton of some form of rodent. 
Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's just a mouse, but it's definitely like full skeleton mode. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> Dude, check out this absolutely mint 1986 plate. What? This thing is brand new. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. I've never seen an old license plate that clean. This was totally worth $500 now. That's wild. Oh, hey, we got more papers up here. Looks like registrations. Registration renewal, 1985. So it has been 34 years. Okay, this is super soft. Yeah. Why couldn't the satellite have been like this? I found something. Oh, I found a license plate. What? 1962. <laughs> wow. That's so badass. Old. I wanted to do more. Should we keep digging? So come check this out. Come look how buried this thing is. Granted, this was sitting inside. Usually stuff sits outside and it gets rained on and wet and then it sinks. But nah, these JC Penny tires. <laughs> are buried up to the beauty ring. Oh, this one's moving. Badger? Oh, no wonder it was so good. Look what was under it. <laughs> Genuine Ford parts. The Mileage Maker XP70 from JCPenney. Available at JCPenney. It's pretty comfortable. Here, you can drive. The truck? No, 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 the car. Oh, it's more fun. What is he talking about with the brakes? No brakes whatsoever. by you guys watching this video. So thank you for that. If you want to help us out more, hit share. He's lying. Don't do it. <laughs> that is tiny. It's like I put a Pinewood Derby car on my trailer. It's literally a Mickey Mouse car. This might be the smallest car I've ever had on this trailer. Did you get ugly everyone we put it up on? It did. It is absolutely hideous now. Should we put it back? Yeah. <laughs> so that does it for our time here on the farm where we got those two trucks and now a Triumph. Let's head back home and work on it there. I'll see you in like a half hour or two months. I don't know. All right. Well, we thought might as well pull the old deal the cool and wash it on the way home.
actually uglier. I mean, he got a little bit of the like crap off. No, not really. No, no it didn't. All right, it's been a month, I think, right? Somewhere around there. It's been a week and a half. It's been a week and a half. <laughs> so moving right into things, we have our two liter. What was it? I have no clue. Me either. We have a four cylinder. <laughs> yep. And it's got some side draft carbs and a big old. Go ahead, pop that air box. Let's see what's in there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yum. That would be where a mouse lives. Yeah, they they got into this pretty good. Yeah, we won't be needing much, much of this anymore. <laughs> is that the dipstick? Under the battery tray and the air filter? It is. Oh my god, what a terrible design. We got oil. I'll smell it. <laughs> it looks okay, kind of. Not really. Dude, this this smells like finger paint. I can't decide if it's finger paint. It smells exactly like finger paint that we had. Like, you know, those little It's like really finger paint thick. mixed mixed with probably oil, but <laughs> don't think that's how that's supposed to come apart. Good. That looks fine. Literally two motorcycle carburetors, basically. So we have your butterfly valve on the back. And then as you see a difference in air pressure between here and the motor, these slides will open. Because, and that'll, that'll lift that main jet out of the needle. As the needle comes out of the jet, it lets more fuel in. Right. So it's kind of their metering system. Right. It's trash, <laughs> but it's their metering system. So right now these are actually stuck. You can come in here usually and kind of pop them open. There we go. Now they'll, they'll slide again. The thermostat's probably shot. And this thing would have just sat here and overheated. So we're going to pull that thermostat out and put a piece of cheesecloth there. That's the exact reason why. <laughs> Look at that. Just full of crap that would have went through our coolant system, got clogged up in the- It would not have went through the coolant system. Yeah, it, nothing would have moved actually. <laughs> this is our coil wire. Junk. That's junk. I missed entirely. Uh, what we can do is we can throw a battery in here and throw a multimeter on that coil and see if there's even power to it. That could be step one. Where and then when there isn't, we hot wire it. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we have spark. And it looks pretty decent. Like that's jumping a quarter inch. So now we just put the rotor back on, get all these spark plug I lost them. Oh there. Spark plug wires from that F two fifty or F one hundred, sorry. And figure out what works where. Because all the old ones were eaten by mice. This coil wire was the exact length it needed to be. We no got, more, no less. We've got a spark plug sitting over here. We're gonna see if at the plug we have spark. And this will show that our distributor cap is good and our wires are good. Sure enough, we do. Dude, this is almost too easy. Do I expect anything to happen? Not really, but we'll see. That's, was that? No, that wasn't old gas, was it? Had to have been, you didn't put that much down there. Oh my God, not again. Every, every other car I brought up this farm ran on old gas. No, it's done. That's not even right. Nope. I'll see if I can do that again. Uh, 
Shooting walnuts. Holy crap! Look at that. I've never seen a car do that. I can't believe that ran that well. Okay, yeah, I think I agree with you. Let's put fuel, fuel. to it and hope that the needle and seat work. I imagine they don't. Ready for this? Yep. All right. So here's what we got. We have a fuel pump from a TBI Chevy. That's a 14 psi fuel pump. It should be a nice low pressure. It didn't fit into the jug, so we're using a five gallon bucket. Smart. Yep. And then this just runs up this line into the hard line through no connections or into the, you know, engine. And stop. Operate properly. Okay, just tap it again. That seems to be good. Okay, we're gonna run no fuel pump. I'm just gonna hit the starter. We might have to give her the old hand suck. going to cut this video here. Thank you guys for tuning in for the Triumph TR7 Revival. Uh, it's not over. Next up is we got to fix the clutch because it doesn't clutch. Fix some wiring, which is going to be a nightmare. Rebuild those carbs. Get the fuel system working. Get it running off of its own fuel delivery system. And hope that we can clear out all the shit in the tailpipe so we can actually run the thing inside without covering everything in poop and dust. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel here, Junkyard Digs. Thank you to Jaden for helping me out on this one. Uh, thank you to Luke for, he did nothing actually. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But speaking of Luke, you should definitely subscribe to him, Thunderhead289 here on YouTube, along with Dylan the Cool, Classic Mustang 429, Vice Grip Garage, The Boss Garage, Junkyard Mook, um, Cars and Cameras, uh, Sick Puppy 4x4, goes on and on. There's actually a list on the front of my channel. You can check it out there or the channels tab if you're on mobile. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time here on Junkyard Digs when we're working on who knows what, for God knows what reason. Peace. <laughs>